Good news and bad news. Okay, we'll do the bad news part first. Okay. Tom Emmer won the fourth round. He knocked out Byron Donalds. Okay. And then he goes and uh, wins uh, the nomination. The House Republicans elect Tom Emmer for speaker in secret ballot. You have to do this behind closed doors because uh, the, the lobbyists will get mad, right? So he actually won that. He actually won that. And then um, uh, 26 Republicans vowed. They said, yeah, I know we're not going to vote for him anyways. We're not doing this freaking unity pledge bullshit. We had Jim Jordan. You could have done your unity pledge back then. You didn't do it. You wanted to get rid of Jordan. Then you wanted to do a unity pledge and then get a rhino in there. Okay. So that's what they're trying to do. That's, that's their plan. The little sneaky plan. Ooh, we're, we're rhinos. We know how to do it. Yeah. So um, 26 Republicans have already vowed to not vote for him on the floor. Uh, but we don't even need to do that vote. We don't, even, we don't need to go there. Okay. Because DT goes scorched earth on Rhino Emmer. Okay. Rhino Emmer, this guy is a never Trumper. Okay. He's also worked with George Soros. He promoted the uh, foundation that George Soros had that was trying to basically force all states to give their electoral votes to the national popular vote which means that you would only have to cheat one state by and one state by a lot in order to take all the electoral votes for the whole country. You're essentially converting the, the country from a republic to a democracy. And a democracy does not succeed. Democracies fail, okay? We're not a democracy, we're a republic, okay? Democracies is essentially mob rule. And that's what, that's what this guy tried to do on behalf of George Soros, okay? So this guy, remember this morning we did the show and I was like, Oh, DT should text them and be like, dude, what are you guys doing, man? I will primary all of you who don't support Jim Jordan. You know, I will say, if I said that this morning in this morning show, that's exactly what he did. <laughs> He's like, hey, F you guys, man. Okay, he didn't say that. Anyways, DT may have just ended Tom Emmer's bid for House Speaker, unless Democrats come to the rescue. DT on Tuesday lashed out at Tom Emmer just hours after he was nominated for House Speaker. Look at that. That's how you do it. That's how you take control of your party. Okay, this is his party. Okay, this is his party. 26 Republicans vowed to vote against Emmer in a full House floor vote for Speaker, which didn't happen because of this. Okay, Emmer is in an uphill battle if he's going into a floor vote with 26 GOP holdouts. He will not likely get the 270 votes needed to win the gavel. DT piled on and blasted Emmer as a globalist rhino he's correct look at that he writes here dt writes i have many wonderful friends wanting to be speaker of the house and some I, i'm bad at the voice i'm bad i'm just gonna read it uh, and some are truly great warriors rhino tom emmer who i do not know well is not one of them he never respected the power of a dt endorsement or the breadth and scope of maga make america great again he fought me all the way and actually spent more time defending Ilhan Omar than he did me. He is totally out of touch with Republican voters. I believe he has now learned his lesson because he is saying that he is pro-Trump all the way. But who can ever be so sure? Sure. Has he only changed because that's what it takes to win? The Republican Party cannot take that chance because that's not where the America First voters are. Voting for a globalist rhino like Tom Emmer, Tom Emmer, Tom Emmer would be a tragic mistake. That's what he wrote out on his platform, Truth Social. It's his Twitter, the one that's actually working and it's fair and stuff like that. But yes, DT's camp blasted that that that, that, that he DT's camp blasted text how blast texted. Why do you write like that? Blast texted House Republicans the scathing True Social post trashing Emmer in an effort to put the final nail in the coffin. Yeah, I don't know that Jake Sherman's like, oh, I got it too. DT's operation has texted House Republicans the True Social post dumping on Emmer. Look at that. On Monday, DT mocked Emmer for all of a sudden becoming his biggest fan. Kind of like Vivek Ramswamy, right? Oh, we love DT now after I got done blaming him for J6, right? Well, uh, he, he writes, um, what is it? DT writes, well, he's my biggest fan now because he called me yesterday and told me. Uh, DT said mocking Emmer during a stop in New Hampshire. <laughs> oh, that was yesterday. I missed that. That's a long speech. It's a long speech. It's like two hours long. My ADHD doesn't let me listen for that long. But I, I, I remember it being a great speech. Everyone loved it, right? Look at that. Look at that. Uh, oh, Matt Gates posted the video. Okay, so this is during the Q&A. This is not during the speech. 
Okay. Uh, in Costa says a lot of great people, uh, which was what DT said about the House Speaker candidates. And then he's uh, regarding his uh, response to Tom Emmer. He said, he's my biggest fan now. They all are. <laughs> That's great. Let's play this real quick. Here we go. Endorse uh, Tom Emmer for speaker. He hasn't historically been your biggest fan, but he is an excited candidate right now. Well, I think he's my biggest fan now because he called me yesterday and he told me I'm your biggest fan. So I don't know about that. Uh, well, we're looking at a lot of people and, you know, I'm sort of trying to stay out of that as much as possible, uh, but they'll get it straightened out. But no, I've always gotten along with him and uh, I get along with all of them, really. A lot of good people. We have a lot of great people. Oh, that's great. That's great. Uh, Tom Emmer is planning on holding a 4 p.m. conference meeting as his speaker, as bid for the Speaker of the House. No, not anymore. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Breaking. Tom Emmer drops out of the speaker race. <laughs> yeah, the kids are happy. The kids hate him, too. Everybody hates this guy. Look at that. Conservatives win. Okay. So if you guys are, I know you guys on YouTube are waiting forever for this stream to start. We're not going to be doing a vote today, but you should be happy because we're not voting for this guy at all. We're not going to do another wasted vote. Okay. DT just saved us many hours of suffering. Maybe like two hours of suffering, right? Tom Emmer has dropped out of the speaker's race and a huge win for conservatives. Jake Sherman of Punchbowl News Hat was the first to break the story. Look at that. Bam. Tom Emmer dropped out. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh... The House Republicans nominated former Soros-funded group spokesman Tom Emmer as their candidate for speaker, once again spitting in a conservative movement's face. He managed to prevail after five rounds by a 20-vote margin over runner-up Mike Johnson of Louisiana. Following the vote, the House GOP led a roll call vote in conference to determine whether Emmer would have the votes to prevail on the House floor. The Minnesota Rhino specifically asked for one. Now, 29 Republicans voted no. Now Emmer has caved and fallen on his sword. Yeah, take that, Emmer. One could agree DT deserves credit for this development. As Christina Lilly reported, DT blasted Emmer in a true social post. We just covered that. But ba be good to go. Uh, now look, Byron Donalds is back in the race. Look at that. Yeah, good. Hey, DT, how about you push Jim Jordan back in? Push Jim Jordan back in, okay? Push Jim Jordan back in and text everyone. I don't understand why any of the GOP would be opposing Jim Jordan. We will be considering primarying you if you continue this. That's all you got to do, DT. You got the power. You need two thumbs to do it. Maybe one thumb. You can do that with one thumb. Yeah? The race now opens back. Newsmax reports that Representative Mike Johnson and Kevin Hearn have jumped back into the race for Speaker. Conservative favorite Byron Donalds has also thrown his hat back in the ring. Push, just get Jim Jordan back in there, guys. Come on. DT, you can do it. You got the thumbs, the orange thumbs. Look at that. All would be upgrades over Uber, Rhino, Emmer, especially Donald. Yeah, Donald's is cool. He's cool. He's not as extreme as I would like, though. I like to be. I like him to be as extreme as Matt Gates. That guy's crazy, right? I hope he. I hope he goes president one day, Matt Gates, because uh, just to, you know, this is look, his hair, the angriness, you know. I would like to see that on a coin one day. Yeah. Like, oh, man, I remember that guy when he was just a House representative. Now he's on a coin, you know? 